All right, we're at 30 seconds. That's good enough. Make sure my camera angle is good. Here we go. 20 seconds. About to start this uh, combat cast and uh, post this up on YouTube for those of you that aren't here right now. I'm going to give my live commentary live as I record this, but I probably won't have time to edit it. I'm going to throw it up on YouTube fast. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like Mortal Kombat Combat Cast 11 Pack 2. And share your uh, Mortal Kombat Pack uh, 11 cast on your social media influencer, uh, regular, regular, um, and Shiva. Oh shit. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. That was cool. If that's one of his intros, that's cool. Oh shit. Melina has the Naruto run. She has the Naruto run. Okay, they made Molina have a Naruto run. I'm cool with that. You're gonna show us the trailer that we already saw? I already reacted to this. Should I edit this part out? Oh, I don't have chat. This is weird. I don't have chat to talk to. You guys are watching this shit later. You guys are watching this after the fact. I've already seen this part. I already saw that that dude. All of, I've seen this. It's on YouTube. You could watch it now. You could watch it again. I would watch it again. And then like the the video and then comment that you watched it again and then unsubscribe and then resubscribe I don't think that counts I don't think that's gonna work guys I think it's just is what it is yeah all right oh shit she threw a shuriken oh he stabbed her with karate and then a backflip oh yeah the Molina hickeys baby the Molina hickeys are the truth oh shit oh Molina be tripping Molina be tripping She's like, what? Leaves and shit? What the fuck? Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. His voice sounds like robotic. Like there's like a robotic effect to me. Like it's auto-tuned. I mean, they said it's really Stallone. And that's fucking awesome. But he sounds auto-tuned. It sounds like if Stallone swallowed a, uh, you know, a T-Pain, you know? Like, he should be like, I'm your worst nightmare, shout I think that would work. That would get the point across, wouldn't it? Alright, yeah. Yeah, Comic Scarlet, okay, moving on. Show me something I haven't seen yet, so I can react to it, so I can get the views. Welcome to the Combat Cast. Oh, it has been a while, there's a delay between be the video and the audio. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, and the time three to new it. characters coming with that. Today we're going to specifically talk about That's one not that character delayed. in particular because here's some news. We're going to have three combat casts around Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. So to get started, let's introduce the crew. Hello. I, I kind of like that fatality one shirt. One of the community Stephanie managers here at Netherrealm. Sorry. Stephanie Brownback, senior QA analyst. I want a fatality shirt. Derek Kurtzik. Derek always has the best shirts. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. Oh shit. Oh hey Tyler. Oh hot take. Hot yeah. take. Oh and the Bavuzula. Hey fellow kids. Do you back. like the memes? Welcome back. Everyone, it's great it's great to be back doing a stream. I meme too, want, fellow so, kids. Uh, glad to be back. Who you wants to have a marijuana cigarette? Ultimate. Um before we get started today's uh stream is gonna be based on uh, we're talking about rain today. And then we're gonna have Two more. I like this. how he's just doing uh, it to fuck with them next, now. In the, in the following weeks, and we'll explain those. I can't later. get mad at that. Um, so let's first talk about what we're excited about. For me, uh, with, with Ultimate, is the inclusion of Rambo. I grew up watching all of those movies of that genre, and just having that character in, in, the, in the cast is super exciting to me, especially because um, from what I've seen and everything, he plays a lot like a character that I'd like him to. So that's exciting. Oh, so he's a grappler. Oh, yeah. I, I know Tyler likes grapplers. grapplers. Oh, all he's going to do is shoot guns. No, you need to pay more attention. Shoot up, girl! That's been the complaint for all of MK11, is all they do is shoot. But Come on now. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's nasty up close. I am excited for Rain. I always love... When our artist I'm so I'm not surprised that she is imagine. not excited for Molina because she's a Kastan, Katana stan. Like she's always about Katana. Is, 
only been in a couple that's what that's what built really her name really in the tournament scene is really katana so obviously she's gonna be like yeah fuck melina rain is the best character the aesthetics and all that it's neat he's it's almost like you get to put in a new character in a way very different than like Liu kang or Jax or something Derek. Mine would have to be the Queen Melina is coming back. Oh, did they plan Cannot that wait. where everybody picks somebody? Running running online. Melina's going to be owned and online, people. She is. Melina, rise up. Let's I go. like his shirt. I like that he's trolling Tyler. And, we'll and he's a Melina fan. Future stream. Derek. Um, but today, of course, give is me a job at NetherRealm. And I know you all want to see and hear more about how Rain plays in this game. And it's going to be pretty exciting because we have some really awesome videos to show you. And Stephanie will be going through. Uh, the ins and outs of how to play as Rain for the most part. But before we get started on that, um, Derek, we're adding something to yes. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate that is uh, something we've not done before and something that's going to help out some players who may be just joining the fight. So tell us about that. Yeah, so we've added a new what online onboarding system. Uh, really? So for players like placement that matches? To Mortal Kombat 11. Shut up, guys. Let them talk. Online experience, it kind of explains some of the combat league aspects and the matchups and things like that. Why you're being matched up with the opponents that you are explains what combat oh, it's points gonna are. Explain for MMR first time, uh, first time players. So everybody that downloads the new and latest patch will have to go through the online onboarding. You will compete through three different matches against oh, an wait, AI. It is placement it's a simulated matches. online experience against three scorpion opponents. <laughs> as realistic as possible. Um, and That's so after fucking perfect. Each match that you win, you will be you'll receive uh, combat points. Get ready after for combat league by fighting scorpion. Tutorials or fights with scorpion. Uh, you will receive Derek, you're a combat fucking points G. that can be used towards the current season. And if there isn't a season active, they'll be cashed until the next season. So you'll start off with a little KP boost. And you'll also oh. receive uh, some time crystals for completing the online tutorial. You only yeah. have to do it one time, and it's more for just getting people uh, <clears throat> a better understanding of what the online experience is. Sure. I like this. Now, I know there's a lot of people who are going to say, like, oh, but I've, I've played 2,000 games. I don't need this. And maybe you don't. But there, there will be a lot of uh, an influx of new players playing Mortal Kombat. I don't think so anybody that's again. played 2,000 matches you, you cares. You stuff. You get time crystals out of the deal, so it's like, a win-win. Right? I don't care. It'd be like a 15-minute tutorial. Like, it's not a big deal. But I think it would help a lot of beginning players. Good, 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 good. Glad that's back. <laughs> um, so, also, um, I think that's a cool we addition. Went right to the I like that a lot. Of the show, because everyone's really looking forward to seeing Rain. So, let's revisit the uh, the Rain trailer we showed uh, earlier. Oh, we're going to watch. We'll I already did a reaction we'll to that. that. So hold on, I'm gonna mute this during this trailer and kind of discuss this placement match thing, um, just because I already reacted to this. It's already on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is my call to action, you fucktards. Um, but no, I think the placement match thing is cool. I wish it was placement matches against other opponents um, instead of just fighting three AI scorpions of varying uh, difficulty. Um, I mean, that is the true combat league experience. But um, I, I wish. It was just like a, you know, like you fight 10 matches against 10, you know, random opponents and they see how you do. I think it's more to test competency because connections and stuff are going to be shitty no matter what. So you don't know what 10 opponents you're going to get if they're going to have shitty ping and that could fuck up your placement. So I get why they made it AI um, to see if you do things, you know, it's probably going to be taking uh, analyzing data on like whether or not you flawless block or grab, you know, like the stats that you can pull up. Oh, you hit them with 10 lows. I think it's going to look at those stats and then place you in a certain MMR. There was always MMR. It was just never transparent. So I think it's going to be more transparency in the MMR explaining that sort of thing um, and I like that they're going to add a cash shop so that way you don't have to uh, you know like if you you don't have to hit a rank to be able to get the skins you want I think that's going to lead to less try hardness of people just kind of cheesing and gimmicking the system uh, using lag tactics to get a skin that they want people will try to play more legitimately um, I mean you're still going to have fucking Aaron Black and Sub-Zero online um, and you're still going to have tryhards that abuse shit like that. But I think this that would cut down on that stuff a little bit. It's not going to get rid of it, but it is going to do a better job of it than um, 
than what we have now. And I, I see trying anything is better than trying nothing. So whether or not this whole experiment works out, I still think it's a bonus to us as a community, whether or not it works or doesn't. At least if it doesn't work, we can tweak it. Um, it's better than just leaving things the way they are. So applause to NetherRealm for doing that. Let me turn the sound back on. There it is. Do awesome. It. Uh, it. Great job to uh, to Rigo, uh, Stephanie. Who else helped with that, Stephanie, on the trailer? And Matt. And Matt. So great job on that. Um, real quick, a couple things about the trailer. Before we get there, um, this is a thank you to the community. Uh, just recently, Mortal Kombat hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Um, and we got this, which will be hanging up at the office soon. That's kind of right cool. There, so there we can get back in there. 8 million people bought the game, but 1 million watch the YouTube. Subscribe to our content and watch all the trailers and talk about them. Obviously, couldn't have done this without you, so it's just really cool. We'll I wonder if I'm subscribed. Maybe I should be. I, I, I can't remember if I've subscribed to them or not. What, what happened? I just watch all the videos. Um, I, no, we're I should subscribe to them. Then they could describe. Um, they could the subscribe, subscribe to me. Just to, to keep keep getting people amped up for it. Oh, they're um, not going to talk about balance patches. I do want to say, uh, Stephanie, you said you saw something the community noticed you wanted to talk about. Oh, are they going to yeah. talk about OTGs? Five minutes after that trailer went live, a few people, including Gurr and Slayer, noticed something was up with the way Sindel got off the ground. Oh, they don't bring up my video, which was the first on YouTube. One of the changes Because I didn't post it on Twitter. If you delay your wake up, there used to be a short and a long delay. There's now just one universal delay. Woo! How oh, just bit me. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so sorry. Now there is just one delay. You uh, delay your wake up, and there's one timing, so you don't have to guess what the opponent's doing. Either just getting up That's normally, big. short delay, or That's delay, pretty big. Or just one delay, and it has only on the comment. Yeah. Will people get bit <laughs> by cats? Combat kitty. Going. Combat, Combat kitty. Cat. Um, so let's get right to what we're here to talk about. So is it still going to have so the invincibility, let's though? Let's kind of give a brief overview on, for some people might not know who Rain is. Um, or Rain So there's just one delay, is an, he's but they didn't say whether or not it's still invincible. He's the son of Argus, who is an Adenian god. He's almost like the Raiden of that world, like a big wig in the, in the pantheon. And being a demigod makes him... Very, very arrogant. He is very proud to have these god powers, and he, that's pretty much all he talks about is how powerful and how great he is. Like, like half of his quips are telling you to bow. So, are they going to retcon him being with Sind uh, being Sindel's kid? Um, one of the cool new things in this game is he has a guitar, which is an old uh, Indian. So they touch on his Argus connection, but they don't touch on Sindel. Like on your knuckles, hmm. and I wonder if that's getting retcon. Different blades and. That's new to the series. Previously, he used a sword in Armageddon, and this is way more interesting, in my opinion. And uh, what, uh, play, okay. Okay. what kind of yeah, what kind of place are we looking at? Swaggy, I would say. Flashy. Uh, she said that about really Fujin. Really cool combos. More combo starters than most characters have. Oh, I like that. I think that's probably the coolest thing about. So he's a combo character. Awesome. I like um, that. So we're going to actually uh, show some. I like that a lot. I'm already, uh, I'm already videos. getting you more hype. Kind of talk through them, and we'll uh, show how Rain plays. So we'll it's the return of combos, Rain's people. General fight style. So to start off, we'll talk about his guitar. He uses it in a bunch of his normals: his uppercut, his jumps, uh, his wake up attacks, and a bunch of his strings. You can see here this is his back two. Quick mid, you can hit confirm, and then back two. Quick mid, really okay. How quick are we talking? Really good range. It's got a couple of options, and uh, this version has a crushing blow if it's a counter hit. And the main reason I wanted to show it is it's really gross to me. It feels really painful. This, this cut. Ooh, oh, freaks me. That's sick. That's fucking sick. He also uses his powers in his normal attack. You can see here is his 4-4, which is like a sweet kick where he knocks you oh, down. Oh, it's his forward 4 He has a back 3 where he literally surfs on a wave. Oh, the, so the that's his forward 4, not and a And then he has this really cool back 1-4. And the neat thing is this, you can delay it and then appear on the other side of them. So you can choose to switch sides or not. 
Now turn his throws, and this is notable because, uh, like a few characters, he has two crushing blows, one on each throw, and they're done with the the standard requirement. And this is one I wanted to show just because I think it's extremely nasty. He actually impales their own hand. Three hundred damage. Awesome. About average. So that's just his, his general sort of movement and fight style, sort of the stuff he starts with. His, you know, his, He's got his a fast down. mid, according to Stephanie, but I don't his know what she considers fast. Because really sharp and it's great for she said Nightwolf's forward one range was range fast, and that shit's 13 range. frames. But his moves are pretty quick. He's got some decent mids, a pretty fast to low. So I would say not the best range, but pretty good when he gets up close. And I think his special moves complement the fact that his normals aren't the farthest reaching. Because he has a lot of projectiles in. And if he touches you once, you're basically going to uh, Prince Schwagtown through Comboville. It's going to be great. It's awesome. What he can <laughs> connect and do, yeah, it's awesome. That's we'll not how I would take... describe it, but that would be accurate, yes. <laughs> yeah. I want to go to Swagtown. Let's take that segue and take a look at some of his uh, default special moves. So first up is the Around the World kick. I to me, this is the classic thing move. Um, in this game, one of the new things that we show that he's actually kicking you through a portal and you're coming out the other end. So the move finally makes sense. Okay. I, that sort of makes sense. He also has this new water ball where he travels full screen and then captures the end of the Izuna drop. And it's kind of like waiting for the man. You can use it to just punish or uh, to end your combos. And it has a crushing blow if he goes full screen, or if it's his armor breaker. So if Whoa. you think they're going to break away, he can use that to punish you. And then lastly here, he has this really cool projectile. I think this is one of the neat things about him. It's a very fast, good recovery, high attack, but he has two different ways to amplify it. He can either let it hit, stick in them, then amplify, and then he gets a knockdown or damage. Or he can actually amplify it while it's traveling and it becomes a mid. So oh, the idea would some be injustice shit. High if they're ducking it, uh, he can actually amplify it right when it's over their head and it becomes a mid and it'll hit them. Or you can do it early and they have to duck the whole time because they know it's coming and stuff like that and you can mix it up. And I think that's, that's kind of cool. cool. So that does damage, sound like some injustice shit, but that's awesome. Uh, that's yeah, pretty a new, cool. A new way yeah, of using a projectile for him. It does less damage, yeah, but they, a, it forces a block. That sounds like a fair trade-off. With the Argus plunge turning into the ball, and then as we'll see later as well, he has a good way to advance to get in to get to where he wants to be. Exactly. So it's like I was saying, the range on his weapon's not that great, but he has the special moves that go literally full screen and control the screen if he wants to take a risk. Sounds like he's going to be another upgraded. That yeah, like he can get in for free, and once he gets in, it's and like... Evaporate. Where Game he over. Really turns into a pillar of water, and he then becomes invincible. Projectiles and even normal attack will just pass by him. So you're going to have to either hit him as he's recovering or hit him as he's coming out of it. It's pretty awesome and trolly. Awesome. That that water move is great. I loved it when I first saw it in the trailer. And, and yeah, it's awesome. so a lot of applications with that thing. My, my uh, gears are spinning on um, how to use that thing. Always getting bodied. Um, uh, up next, let's, let's take a look at the first variation of Ray. So this variation is all about King his, Leonidas uh, variation. into the water realm. And he gets this new move. It replaces the uh, the bubble. And it's like a big full screen, well not full screen, but like half screen slash. It's got good pushback on the block when he amplifies it. Oh, you it. can do it on the air too. And he can actually do it in the air. And what's cool is he can do it in the air two different ways. He can go straight across, or he can go down like a dive kick. And it's very, very quick. And you can amplify the second that. hit. Maybe in the then corner. Then he this portal. And once he has this on screen, it'll absorb projectiles. Oh, that's cool. You can see right here. And the difference with evaporate is he gets to move around. So you can put the portal out and then you can like go behind it, advance in front, and it's going to absorb any projectile. That's fucking cool. Two, his crushing blow is loaded. And the next time he gets the slash, he's going to get big damage. So that's an interesting way of, we've had, you know, uh, projectile parries in the past, which this isn't. But it, it is another way of controlling. Kind of like Frost's shield, but it doesn't like move. Playing it sub zero, but uh, it also seems faster. You, you put that in front of you. You still have range of motion, and he's scared 
to throw anything at you. Exactly. And then, as Derek said, he has all these special moves that have really good range, and then that complements it. He gets them to calm down and not do their zoning, and then he can kind of do the slash or, you know, his guitar, guitar toss and stuff like that that regulate all that full screen space. Yeah. The range on the quantum slice is just absolutely ridiculous. It's like half screen, almost full screen. And then when you put the rift up, you can try and uh, dash back and forth with the air slice as well to try and get in closer. So he just kind of yeah. sets stuff up just so he can get in. I'm wondering how unsafe those slashes to are going to be. To combo town. They look like they're going to be death on block. Is that, uh, that's, back, a, that's a town, combo town? Yeah, back yeah, to yeah, combo yeah. town. It's next to Suplex City. Um, it's so it's one of the outlying suburbs. To uh, control the other person's movements. A lot of players like to be in charge of how that person plays. Kind of. Yeah, good range, good mobility, and then he gets to regulate zoning. Excellent. And I also uh, like how uh, we've changed... I was going to say, I like how we've changed the roundhouse. Like, he still has it, but we put a little extra flair on it because he has that, I'm a god! I can spin three times first and then kick you. It's awesome. Oh, the the spin is so cool, and then the idea of him transporting to that water world, I think, is really neat. And to be clear, that's not the Kevin Costner '90s water world. Z. Sure. What are you talking I about? That movie's a legend. I'm aware of that. Okay, I just. It's interesting because I remember maybe, when I was a kid, maybe it was. I, was, I was like, "Does rain shoot them? Does he, does he shoot them all the way around the world? No, no, it's through portals. Yeah, that's did. that's no, what it is. That would be silly. It's a portal. Yeah, we're a more realistic, yeah. grounded." on MK now. But does Fujin yeah, kick so. them around the world? Uh, let's take a look at uh, the first part of Rain Variation 2. The Variation 1's the slashy... St oh, there's so Unmasked Rain. Variation 2 has this uh, advancing palm strike, and what's neat is he can actually delay it. You can delay it just a second, you can delay it for a real long time and get exceptionally well, or you can cancel the delay and actually... Uh, <laughs> Got caught. Or, uh, fake it what out happened? and then what back dash or go in for a throw or whatever. And so like a simple way to use this is to use the evasiveness and dodge stuff and then whiff punish it, like knock them down, go into the palm, they're going to whiff their wake up attack and then boom, you get them and break their ribs. I think there's a lot of cool we gimmicks all, we, you can do with that with an auto, really rely like an auto on back dash. Ups. And that's a great like way every to start making player like, a, ever. like that. It's, it's a really good way to make, to make them think, Maybe you shouldn't do that this time. They still will, but they're not going to get mm -hmm. hurt doing it. So. Yes. So when Derek won't stop waking up, at least you can break his rib cage. Ball roll. Sure. Ball roll. Ball roll. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at the end of that one. Then he has this splash move, and this actually leaves him standing, and Rain gets advantage. You can use it to end uh, strings, but it also respans if they're in the air. So after a juggle combo, you can do it, and then... That prevents them from having any knockdown at all. So this variation basically really blows up wake-ups. Oh, cool. Good. Uh, uh, now we have, we, have a second more, part. Yeah. we have a second part of variation two. Let's take a look at that. So there's more so to variation two. This is his two. entire splash where he squirts this water oh, out. And this is awesome for preemptive anti-airing. If you, with a jump, if you think a jump's coming, you can absolutely regulate the air. If the amplifies it, you get the combo. So what's really cool is this doesn't conflict with the around the world tip. And that means you get pretty spidey combos because you get two different combo things. Okay, 314 for two so bars. There's a lot. If you want to use two bars, it looks cool, but I don't know if I'd spend two bars for 314. Look really awesome, which is probably even more important than the damage, let's be honest. Always. I like that there was one one move in there that actually set up the water spout. Exactly. It doesn't have to be an anti-air. Yes, one three three. He kicks you up in the air and it's like like it was made for it. It's perfect. And as a player of my skill level, I'm always looking for moves that make it very easy for me to do specials after them. Shiva has some like that. This is definitely one of those. So that's that's Oh yeah. Cool. It's I don't know Tyler has kind of just made peace with the fact that he that sucks he at this game. That. And water. it's just like, yeah, you know what? I suck. So I this very and I like to pick characters that make me suck less. For sure. Like, he has good combos in all three. But this one, to me, really stands out. If you, if you are someone who you have no problem using bars, just left willy-nilly because you want to do big combos, this is a great variation for you. Seems like he's going to be similar to Scorpion in that you're probably going to be spending double bar at, uh, every, every touch. Variation three. 
but maybe he'll get him back fast like Scorpion. But first off, this costume is awesome. I love the hood. So first he gets this title. That looks like the fucking really metal good. costumes from X. Deceptively great, great range. If it amplifies it, it has a hundred active frames. And this is also great for people that like to duck. And then he also gets the classic NK Trilogy water bubble, uh, which is a high. So if they won't stop ducking it, can use the tidal wave, and that's going to regulate, you know, mid, uh, mid okay. screen. All right, I see what you're and doing. And the neat thing about the bubbles, when he amplifies it, he can choose which direction they're going to fall. He gets four different options. So oh, he doesn't get back, to control you. Over his head, uh, straight up, or down and bounce. And it's four different reactions. So four different ways to combo them. You could throw them out of the corner. You could throw them into the corner. You could do max damage. You can get really good Oki. There's all these different options for how you combo, depending mm, on how So you they took away the, the mind control. You just choose which There's direction no they fly in instead of, our, of pulling in them and then dropping them. You have a move that makes the other player have nothing they can do. And like doing it where like you, I can choose to throw you up, down, back, forward, doesn't matter. That's just a good feeling as a player, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember as a kid playing MK1 and that spear, and then you're just like, I get a free uppercut, like, this is now the best game ever made. So those are always psychologically I, fun. Uh, I always remember putting people in the bubble in MK9 and then just teabagging, which was always fun. That sounds out that that that. of your alley. That I can fun, respect right? that, Derek. That's on brand. I think that might be a thing that I might uh, have yeah. to be doing. Let's uh, take a look at Rain's Fatal Blow. Oh, we're just watching it again. I mean, this was in the trailer. What can you tell about the into oh. for that? What what what's the what's the deal there? I think the cool thing is it's pretty quick and it's got pretty good range because he holds his arm up and it's not just the arm; it's like the little water that comes up in front of it. Got you. So it's, it reminded uh, me a lot of like Noob cool. Saibot or Shang's. It looks again. slow, it's but like awesome. it looks like it just oh, summons yeah, the water sure. wherever you're at. Um, we were gonna we're gonna show you the fatality that was shown in the trailer. We have we've heard from people that sometimes maybe don't show everything on the combat cast. We might save the last fatality for later uh, in the future. Um, but let's show the fatality right now. It's the one we already seen though. I mean, it's cool. He's got the Destructo disc. Curling like a villain. That would be cool if that was an actual move. Like, he could summon the Destructo disc. Like, it sucks that that's just a fatality. That'd be fucking sick. Like, if he could fucking control that shit Yamcha style. And... Bloop, bloop. The, the, the flopping is so good. I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so that... In a nutshell, is Rain. Of course, you know when you get a chance to play Rain, you're going to learn a lot more and figure thing, th things out. But uh, that's what we're going to show you today. Any any final thoughts uh, on Rain, everyone? He I heard combos and fast mid, mid so like that's all I really give a shit about. If you he's want, got combos. He's got, the classic he's got fast trilogy, mids. Lifting his arm up and the lightning strikes. He's got a really unique, wack, wacky move where it's this buff and he turns it on and his dashes become faster, which is kind of a weird, fun thing. So there's a couple things to look for uh, when the game comes out. Um, <clears throat> his personality is probably one of the most fun, for sure, because um, he's just a cocky ass. I mean, he's basically yeah, Vegeta, yeah. Then, right? Uh, I am I the Prince of all Aladinians! Multiple different types of players, too. Like, obviously, you've got to get up close to do a lot of the damage and the swaggy combos, but you can also do things... Uh, and stay back with Rain as well, and still link into some of those swaggy combos. So I think he's going to appeal to a lot of different player types. Yeah, I'm on the same page with you, Derek, too. Uh, where he seems to, pretty much all rushed. arrogant characters in our game, Johnny Cage. He doesn't seem like you can play him this back. Is a different Maybe with that slash a, variation, a depending on how type of negative those slashes so, are. But you know, we, we always get those he seems pretty cut and dry, like, like, like this is a rush down character who does combos. to me, is going to be a really big one, because he's just a... He's a jerk, so it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. He's a demigod! Um, he's a demigod. If only I could ever reach demigod. Um, oh, well, is he For you, I think, I think it's time for my favorite part of any combat cast. 
Birthday shout outs, everybody. Uh oh. Birthday shout outs. Oh, yeah. All right, hold on one second. Is that like his We've house? Like he has that many uh, fucking Transformers? Cordell2505 underscore Gaming Brian, Jin Kuchiki, Zach Gross. Where do they Sanders, get these birthday shout outs? They didn't give me one Eric on my birthday. Key, uh, Kuhano, Mick Pack, Olivier from our amazing uh, UK marketing team, Angelo Cruz, Tre- Treasure Trob, uh, but his name's really Trevor, but I always he call him. He is a treasure, though. He is a treasure. Matt Gilmore, and happy late birthday to Dan Forden. Yeah. It's the remix, guys. That's basically nice. it. That's all we got. Mm-hmm. Here are the shout outs. Um, before okay, we shout go, out. we do want to discuss um, some of the. We've gotten a lot of things on Twitter, a lot of people tweeting about uh, the up, how you upgrade to the next gen. Uh, and such, and I have some stuff I'm going to read while we put up some screens. Yeah, you get a free upgrade, people. If you have Mortal Kombat 11 already on PS4, Xbox One, or get Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate on PS4, Xbox One, you can upgrade to the PS5 or Xbox Series X or S version of this game for free at no additional cost. Um, now, if you pre-order MK11 Ultimate, you'll get access to Mortal Kombat 11, Combat Pack 1, and Aftermath when you purchase the game. Now, if you already own Mortal Kombat 11, you can easily upgrade by pre-ordering Combat Back 2 to get Melina, Rain, and Rambo on November 17th. Now, any players who pre-order Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate or Combat Pack 2 will get the Time Warriors skin pack at launch, giving you three new skins. Dark Web Noob Saibot, Halt and Catch Fire Liu Kang, and Blood Code Scarlet. Now, here's something I've been getting a lot on Twitter, so I want to explain this. If you upgrade your PS4 game to the PS5 version, as long as you are signed in with the PlayStation ID, the same one, your inventory, rewards, character variation, and time crystals will carry over. Oh, all right. With time crystals. Previous Tower of Time and Crypt progression will carry over as well. Okay. Story progression, unfortunately, will not carry over to PS5, but any rewards earned by uh, any sort of campaign completion will carry over. Okay. Settings, so, I mean, files, you just have to stats, play it your again. combat card will not carry over to PS5. And finally, for the Xbox users, if you upgrade your Xbox One game to the Xbox Series S or X version, as long as you are signed in with the same Xbox login, all inventory, rewards, character variations, progression, time crystals will carry over, as well as anything you purchased with time crystals. Now, you will still need to download your local save data from the cloud or transfer via USB to carry over custom settings or any sort of combat cast stats. But that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet mm. us. We can explain it better. Okay. All right. We, uh, so again, pretty like much said, everything's going to move over except one for like three. We'll have two your more. history the next or whatever, one, like your combat history. So far, right now, history. you can maybe put it in your calendar. It's going to be scheduled for October 28th, and that will be Rambo. So very excited to do They're that. They're doing Melina the last. Uh, discussing balance and that sort of thing. We'll probably do on the final one, the final stream with Melina. So other than that, before we say goodbye, any final words, Stephanie and Derek? It's spooky season. True. Yes. Um, and I think that uh, rain will make you feel the purple pain, purple pain. This yeah. cost us $25,000. Ladies and gentlemen, it's thank you so pain. much for joining us. You're right. Totally different. It's a parody. Doesn't count. Ah, um, fair use. We'll there you are, Tyler. Soon. Thank you so much for joining for joining us. We're really glad to be back. It's always a pleasure to be in your living room or wherever you are watching the stream, and we will see you again very soon. Thanks. Everybody do the rain pose. Rain pose. <sighs> it was the reptile pose first. Just putting that out there that it was reptiles first. Looks like that's it, guys. That's the end of the combat cast. Uh, final thoughts and opinions. Uh, Rain looks cool. He looks fun. He looks like he is kind of going to be one dimensional in that he's going to be kind of all rush, which is fine for me because I like that play style. Um, it looks like he's going to have better ways of dealing with zoning. Um, I think he's going to have the same problems that Jackie has, uh, with his T-Rex arms. Um, and it's just going to be determining the, like, the determining factor on where he would sit in the meta is whether or not he has the tools to deal with the T-Rex arms. 
Um, obviously, Jackie, she's got back two and dash punch. She's got upgraded leaps. She's got ways to get around her stubby normals that put her right where she needs to be to start her bullshit. Um, it, it remains to be seen if Rain will have that similar ability to just do a move to get him into range to start his bullshit um i don't know if it'll be free or unsafe like with jackie everything is free um i don't know how safe he's gonna be on some of that stuff and uh it looks like that uh fucking water ball and he pops you up it looks like it's gonna be space dependent whether or not you can get anything off of it so like if you hit that thing full screen you maybe want to just fucking push him to the corner and, and, and get your wall carry. Um, and then if you hit him like close enough to where you know it's going to pop him up for a combo, um, you can do that. It looks like he doesn't have the anti-air grab in that variation though. So you're, it looks like his primary combo extender is going to be the roundhouse, which means that he's going to be kind of like Scorpion in that anytime you uh, – anytime you hit confirm into a combo you're gonna have to get a side swap um and it looks like he's gotta move that side swaps but like a, a normal string what was it like back one four or something like that that side swaps um so i mean he's gonna have ways to get from one side to the other mid combo but i'm wondering if it's gonna be like scorpion or cabal where it really hampers their uh wall carry ability it looks like he's gonna have like really, really good wall carry if you just do string into special because everything he does just fucking launches you across the screen. And then if you do any extended combo options, you lose the wall carry um, to, to maximize damage, um, which in a perfect world, that's kind of how designers want combos to work, right? Like in every fighting game, they usually try to force you to prioritize wall carry versus damage, um, you know, like. Tekken, Guilty Gear, all those games. Like you always, if you want max damage, you always have to give up something like wake up or reset or something like that. Um, so his combo potential looks like it will be fair and that he'll be very low damage unless he wants to side swap. Um, so I don't like Cabal doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Scorpion doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Um, I would want to know what kind of game plan he has when he does get a corner. Uh, it looks like it'll be hard for him to get a corner. Um, it also looks like it'll be hard for him to maintain pressure. Uh, it looks like he's like a like a one and done kind of character. I'm going to get in. I'm going to get my big damage. And then that's it. And then I have to get in again. Like he doesn't have any like outside of the restand, which I called out in the first trailer. The restand like restands them pretty far away. So it's not like he can. Uh, it's not like Cabal's restand where he fucking hooks you and you're right in his face and he can do whatever he wants. Uh, it seems like Rain is going to get the restand and then he'll have to dash or jump in um, to capitalize on it uh, unless he has like a corner. I don't know if it would push him back in the corner. But it looks like he's not going to get any kind of guaranteed, like, advantageous situation. It's not like Johnny Cage uh, nut punch where you end with the nut punch and they're at you're at plus frames right in their face. It looks like he's got a lot of plus frames off of it. But I think that those plus frames are just to mask his dashing in or jumping in. Um, it didn't look like he was plus that much once he got in. Like, he, he hit the restand, and then he dashes in, and it looked like they gained control of their character by the time he dashed in. So, like, I, I think that that would be effective if he's at least plus one or two after dashing in. Then he can force a mix, because um, usually when you restand, you're, you're giving up damage um, to get a restand. So, like... You know, a restand is pointless if you can't force a mix. You're leaving damage on the table for very little reward. So I'm wondering if he'll at least be like plus one or two after dashing. Like if he does the restand and dashes immediately on the first available frame to get in. Like if he's not like plus one or two, then he's going to dash into a jab. Like they can just mash a jab on the restand and then he's going to walk into it and they can full combo him. But at least if he's like like... If he does the restand and he's plus like between, you know, 14 and 20, 
like then he can dash because I think dashes are like I think I forget but max max range or to initiate the dash is like four frames or something like that I forget I, I'm probably wrong on these numbers but like the dash animation if that finishes and he gets inside and he's still at plus one or two and then he can jab you uh, or down poke you um, to keep you from mashing to set up a, a a grab situation. I think that would be like the restand would be worthless without that. Otherwise, you're just gonna you're gonna play it like Cabal's gas mask, and you're just gonna do the restand in the corner. Um, which again, it's gonna be kind of tough to get the corner with him with all the side swapping and the roundhouse kicking and stuff. Um, he looks cool. He looks cool. Uh, I'm going to hold Stephanie to that fast mid. He said, the, what was it, back two? If back two is not 11 frames or better, then no, it's not a fast mid. If that shit is 13 frames, like fucking Nightwolf, his forward one, or uh, Kano's forward one, then like you can keep that. You just keep that. It's not a fast mid. Fast mid, to me, the breaking point on fast mid is 11 frames or better. If you're 12 frames and slower, that's not a fast mid. That's That's a slow mid. At least with 11 frames, you uh, you can you can trade with a jab or a low poke on negative frames if somebody's mashing, so you can at least stop them. But if like if it if it, if his fastest mid is like 12 or 13 frames, and it has that short of a range, then like he's just he's just gonna get mashed on like everybody else. That's the problem with this game. It seems like they're trying to address that, address the fact that people can just down one like forever and there's not much you can do even if they're negative i mean short of making down ones fucking double digits negative to where you can punish someone for a down one i don't know that there's much they can do in our online uh environment that we find ourselves in um other than give someone a fast mid because if somebody's at like minus four and they try to press you know even a uh even like a six frame down one like Sub-Zero. If Sub-Zero is at minus four and he hits his down one at frame perfect timing, that still isn't going to be hittable until the 10th frame, in which case like an 11 frame mid, if they're off by a frame, will trade. Um, if they're n on point, then like, okay, the 11 frame mid could get jabbed out on. Um, but usually with the uh, input buffer, like they have to be on point with their mashing in order for you to not catch it otherwise you're you're because your input is buffered on the first available frame uh, i think within five frames your mid will always come out on the first available frame so that you can stop mashing and that's the problem with most of the characters in this game is they can't stop mashing outside of like back dashing or you know taking really risky things back dashing is risky uh neutral jumping is risky uh the only thing to stop mashing is to hit them right to either hit your low poke or have a mid that uh, that's fast enough to catch them low profiling because you're obviously not going to hit them with a jab if they're mashing down once. Um, so all in all, I think rain is going to be pretty cool. Um, pretty my my hype for him was kind of tempered. I thought he was going to be kind of bland and dry because a lot of characters in this game are bland and dry, especially the DLC. The DLC is very, very, very bland and dry. And it seems like Rain is going to kind of be a return of what Mortal Kombat was all about. Like, he's going to have really cool, obnoxious combos. He's going to have a very aggressive rushdown play style. Um, he's going to have some projectiles to defend himself at full screen. Um, that, and that, to me, is the core DNA of Mortal Kombat. Very aggressive, uh, lots of frame trapping, lots of mix-ups, very up close um, with projectiles to, to fight back at full screen. But um, we'll see. We'll see. From So far, it looks like he's got what it takes to make a good character. But I want to see the frame data before I make any decisions. Um, and I want to see how his movesets interact with each other not just like this is a special move and you can combo from it it's like okay well, but what does that bring to the whole kit you know what is he lacking in his kit that is complemented by his special move or supplemented by his special moves like scorpion doesn't have good range but he has the spear and the teleport 
to kind of get around that. Um, so is Rain's move set going to be cohesive like that? And is it going to allow a degree of freedom in the way he uh, approaches his offense? Because like, you know, if he if he ends up being another character that has to mash down ones to jail into a jab in order to get his offense going, like he's just I, I won't have any interest in him. Um, but if he has a good mid and some good combo opportunities that aren't just string into special move, um, I feel like I could I could make a character like him work. I could make him I could make him work. He may not be top tier, but if he has a fast mid and some decent damage. I can at least make him work with better fundamentals than my opponent. Um, doesn't look like he's got a lot of dirt. He seems pretty honest. Like he doesn't have any goofy mix-ups or like trickery. He doesn't really have any gimmicks. Like he's got the restand, but we already discussed that. Um, he's got like a couple of lows and low starters, but it doesn't look like he has a whole lot as far as overheads outside of short hop. So it looks like he's going to be... To me, he seems like if somebody mixed what Scorpion does as far as, like, offense, but, like, gave him Kung Lao minus the mobility. Like, he's a less mobile Kung Lao. Looks like he's all pressure um, and le very little mix. Just pressure, 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 pressure. Fish for a uh, fish for a stagger into a combo and hit confirm into a extended launcher. Um and it looks like in order to maintain position like Scorpion, he'll probably have to spend two bars um, to keep his corner position or keep his screen position to push you in the corner. But anyways, I got to get out of here. I have to go get ready for uh, my real job uh, because you guys don't like, comment, and subscribe and go to the Patreon and go to the whatever. What the fuck? What was the other thing? The fucking my fucking merchandise store with my fucking. Yeah. It'll work a real job, assholes. That means I got to go do that now. So I'm going to catch you guys later, right? Remember, this is the only fucking MK community that matters is ours. So I'm going to talk to you guys on Discord, and I'll see you all later.